Hi, in this tutorial I will show you some basic examples of control Unreal Engine with OEC from Resolume. You will learn how to control the position and rotation of actors, control the brightness and color of light source, and also control the camera. But first, I want to give thanks to all Patreons for supporting and empowering me to make new videos. Let's start. First, you need to download and install the ESPXL Dummy Params plugin for Resolume and Spout plugin for Unreal Engine. You can find links to plugins in the description to the video. First of all, you need to create an OEC server, which will receive comments from Resolume. Open Unreal Engine and activate Spout and the OEC plugin. Create a blueprint class and select Actor. Rename it and add Actor to the level. Unreal Engine website already has examples of OEC blueprints. Copy the binding and event to all messages and paste into the blueprint of the OEC server. Change IP address to 127.0.0.1 and port to 7001. Also replace integer with float. And create a variable for the OC server. Let's also create after restart of the server, in case the server stops receiving comments. Let's check if the server works. Switch to Resolume and add dummy params from the effect tab. Also change the outgoing port to 7001. Go to Unreal Engine and check that commands are coming and print on the screen. Now let's create a handler for OC commands. To do this, copy binding and event to address patterns and paste it into the OC server. Delete unnecessary nodes. Add the OC server variable. From the message set get OC message float at index. Connect execution pin and collapse graph. Switch to the group and connect the input for the string and the output for the execution and value. Handler is ready. Now let's add a spout camera. And let's try to control the objects with the resolume. Let's add a cube and change it to movable. Create a variable of type actor and select object reference. Make this variable public and compile the blueprint. In OEC server, click pick actor from scene and select cube. Add a cube and select set actor location. From the new location, select lerp vector. In this node, we set the range in which objects will move. We connect the values from OC message to the alpha pin. It remains to know the OC address to control the cube. To do this, let's go to Resolume. Rename the parameters to cube. In the shortcuts menu, select Edit OC. Select parameters and copy the OC address. Paste the address into the OC command. And let's remove unnecessary actor from level. Go to Resolume and add camera from the source tab. Try to change the position of objects with assigned parameter. Now let's add rotation to the actor. Duplicate the command handler. Add a cube variable and select set actor rotation. From the new rotation, select Lerp Rotator. Set range for rotation.
Connect values from IC message to the alpha pin. Copy IC command for rotation from the second parameter. And paste it into command handler for rotation. Go to Resolume and check that it works. Let's try to control the brightness of light source. Open OIC server and duplicate the command. Create a variable of type actor and select object reference. Make this variable public and compile the blueprint. In OIC server, click pick actor from scene and select point light. Add light and select cast to point light. And add set intensity. Create a lerp and set the range for brightness. Switch the resolution and add the colorize effect. Set bypass to FX so it won't affect composition. We will control brightness with the opacity parameter. Copy the address and paste it to the command handler. Now check it to make sure that it works. Let's try to control color of the light source. Go to OC server and duplicate the command handler three times, since we're going to use RGB colors. Add light. With cast let's choose set light color. With new light color we select make linear color. Connect each handler to the cast and do each color. Switch the resume and copy the address for each color. Since the address is different only in the last parameter, you can change it manually. Check that it works. Let's try to control the camera position. Switch to the OIC server, create a variable of type actor and select object reference. Make this variable public and compile the blueprint. In OIC server, click pick actor from scene and select camera. Duplicate the command handler. Add a camera and choose set actor location. From new location select lerp vector. Set the range in which the camera will move. Go to resolution and add another dummy parameter. The most important thing is to follow the hierarchy and add new effects after the existing ones. This is necessary to keep the address of parameters. Copy the address of parameter and paste it to the command handler. Go to resolution and check that everything works. I showed you some basic examples of control and revenge in with OEC from Touch Designer. If video was useful, don't forget to like it and subscribe to channel. Thanks for watching.